I want to make an animation in which this wheel turns. So let's start off by opening up our timeline window. Now I've made this very small so it can fit in the corner of the screen and we'll click Create Video Timeline. There are some additional layers here that we'll use later. When we open the controls for the wheel layer, we can see we can adjust its position, opacity and style over time. What we can't do is rotate it. There is a trick to that, and that is to select the wheel layer and turn it into a smart object. Layer Smart Objects Convert to Smart Object. When we now pop it open in the timeline, we've got the transform control. So let's click the stopwatch. It automatically adds a keyframe at the beginning. We'll go to the end and add another keyframe. This is a five second animation. So let's go right to the middle at two minutes, 15 seconds. And now let's rotate it. Command or control T, hold the shift key down and now when you turn it around, you can rotate it exactly 180 degrees. When we now play the animation, the wheel turns. Let's now reveal our extra layers. I've added a car from which I've removed the wheels and a shadow beneath the car. We want the wheel to be smaller and in the position at the back of the car. But if I move it now, it's going to record that on the animation panel. What we can do is to make the whole wheel with its animation into another smart object. Now we can pick it up and use free transform to move it into place and to shrink it. We'll play the animation and the wheel turns perfectly. We want another wheel in the front, so let's hold the Option or Alt key down and drag that to the front of the car. Again, it plays as we want it to. Let's add a background. Here's our ground layer and I'm going to zoom out and use free transform on this layer to make it wider so that we can scroll it. And let's zoom in again. When we scroll down to the ground layer in the timeline, we can see that we can adjust its position, opacity and style. And you might think, well, that's OK. That's more or less what we want. So if I drag it over to the right, set the position, and then go to the end of the animation, add another keyframe and drag it to the left. Then when we play the animation, the ground scrolls as the car moves forward. But it doesn't look realistic. And the reason for that is that because the ground's in perspective, the foreground should move more quickly than the background. As it stands, the background's moving at the same speed and this doesn't look realistic. So let's undo a few steps so we get back to the ground layer without any keyframes. Once again, let's turn this layer into a smart object. And now, when we open it up, we see that we can set transform. It's already dragged right over to the right. Let's hit Command T for free transform. And I'm going to grab the top middle handle and hold Command and Shift on a Mac, Control and Shift on a PC, and drag that towards the center and hit Enter to apply it. We'll move to the end of the timeline, add another keyframe here. I'm going to drag it over to the left and once again go into Free Transform grab that middle handle and move that back towards the center. Now when we play the animation, the background moves more slowly than the foreground and it looks very much more convincing. Here it is again. And you can see the true perspective movement of the background and the foreground. 
If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel.